The following was recorded at an undisclosed American business and is the property of the NSA. If you are found in possession of this recording, you are in violation of federal law and subject to imprisonment under the Patriot Act. Oh, hey, Benjamin. Hey, Karina. Hey. Hey, Jonathan. What's up, you guys? Oh, not much. Just, you know, another Monday. Yeah, it's the Monday. Monday after the big game. Did you guys catch it? Oh, yeah. I mean, I watch the halftime show because my, Cause my you're niece. A woman. If I. Sorry. Wow. Benjamin, if I could catch it, I would have been at the Super Bowl, right? Oh. Oh, my. Right? God. Am I right? I get it. Because it's oh. the, the football. It's. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. good, right? Yeah, that's the, your best joke of the week. Yeah, I, it's Monday. Later on, I'm going to be telling everybody, I, hey, I said, uh, he said, did you catch the big game? I said, and if I could catch it, then I'd be at the game. And then I, everybody anyway, laughed. And that um, was, it was really funny, and everybody laughed. My niece, she's a basic fucking bitch. And she loves Maroon 5, so she had to, like, turn up all the fucking TVs in the fucking house. Were they playing? You. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They They made they it to the bowl? Playing. They, That's great. They got, they got there, they did it, but That's great. Yeah. Was there a, a nipple slip? I kind of, I was, I, you know, I'm a two, guy, so I just two, watched the actual two slips. Um, he slipped his shirt off, and his nipples just popped out. They popped out they of it when his shirt was out. off. So it, he took his shirt off, and then they popped out. No, they accidentally um, popped out of his shirt when he took the shirt off. Oh. Huh. It's like when my penis actually falls out when I take my pants off. <laughs> oh, your penis I mean, falls off. It sounds like <laughs> your penis falls off. Oh no, guys, that's really I embarrassing. Because I have, like, I had a pair of pants that for uh, like six months the zipper didn't work, and and I don't always wear underwear, and nobody told me for six months. Yeah, we just. And then HR was finally the person that told me. It was finally. They really did not want. Didn't really know how to get to that topic it's not that you didn't notice because how could you not notice oh no we noticed we, like i said we just didn't really know how to bring that i, th- I thought it was a fashion side. statement i was cool with it okay so so one of the amendments you can do that so at the super bowl one team was maroon five what was the other team oh, um i i don't know some guy hey before you listen this to is maroon one? five make sure you look at you need to check out maroon one two three and four you oh. won't be able to follow the plot. i get I, I i think i would be lost but no, it was it, it was pretty bad. They they were pretty awful. I know the game sucked. Well, the actual game. I don't I know if you guys know about that. I mean, there was a football game around Adam, that halftime show. Adam I, Levine, like, he just dropped the ball over and over. And they lost. Mm, I guess. Who won? What was the other team? What who, who was the team that won? Uh, the the uh, Americans. The Tom Brady's. Yeah. The Tom Brady's versus yeah. the Maroon Fives. Yeah. Right. yeah. That does sound like it. Something like that. I don't know. I was kind of in and out that night. In and out of what? The day. You're just checking out and, and turning it up like they did in the 70s? Do you have some, uh, was there like a big box with a spout on the side of it involved in this? That's just my juice box. Okay. Uh-huh. Mystery solved. I like it at the end of the football game when they pour the juice box on the... the yeah, the juice box. On it's the, the coach. Barrel. That's actually a barrel. They always pour it on the white guy that stands on the side with the headphones. Yeah, exactly. That's because that's what happened to millennials. Always on their headphones. Yeah. Yeah. And so they're listening to uh, Maroon 5 while they're out there bashing each other's skulls. And so, I mean, I'm trying to follow you guys. This is, yeah. yeah. See, I watch the big game every week. Or Here, have, every... Some, have some juice for my juice box. I DVR the big game. I'm not going to. I DVR the big game, and then I just fast-forward through the game because I only watch it to be outraged by the commercials. And there were a lot of outrageous commercials this year. Which one did you like? I don't even remember most I of them. Hear, but I hear... I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me... Let me... I hear... Fuck. Hold on. I need to put my juice box down. Sorry. Uh, okay. okay. Put it down. I hear that... Why did you put it on me? Just hold it for me. Fuck. 
Okay, sorry. I'm Don't drink that, Jonathan. Today, I've been kind of... Smells, I needed to drink it a little bit more today than most of It smells like cat puke. It does not. That is just finely aged Just the straw. Juice. Like, the, the juice itself is fine. Stop. Just the straw. Okay, go on. Anyway. Um, there was one that attacked vegans. I thought that was kind of mean of them. Yeah, that commercial that attacked yeah, the vegans. Like, they, literally, they went they out and they hit vegans. Vegans should die, I'm pretty sure. I, like I said, I was in and out. Well, they will because they don't eat meat. Yeah. You have to eat meat. Scientific proof that there is proof that if you don't have meat, you will die. Yeah, that's what my priest told me. I think that's an amendment that we all have the right to eat meat. All the other animals. Oh, that's the Bible, actually. All the all the animals. Why? Uh, obey us. Why yeah, do you that, that, think? It's the same thing. Why Bible do you that. think that there is there is that story of the two by two animals? What do you think they were for? It wasn't. It wasn't grass food. and right. flowers. See, I I ascribe. God wanted us to eat meat, exactly. not. Flowers and grass and all that food. See, I ascribe to the the principles of the the native, the the you know the like the righteous native, you know, and they use every part of the animal. And so, why would we just wear the leather jackets and not eat the the delicious flesh that holds that jacket and together? Cartilage, and right? You carve like dildos out of the antlers or whatever the hell it is. You just <laughs> eat every part. Well, they did. I, I actually went to the museum. No, you, Mary, you stop laughing. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, so I do want to talk about those commercials because there were so many outrageous, offensive commercials. I know one that offended me the most. What's that? So, uh, the, you know, the Microsoft, you've heard of that? Yeah. Okay, it's, so they, yeah. it's a big thing. So they have a commercial. So it's this commercial, right? I'm, I'm watching this with my kid, and there's a commercial, <laughs> and it's a, it's a controller for like disabled people mm -hmm. and it shows all these kids like with one arm or with like no fingers yeah. or one kid had like toes where his hand should be sure and they're like uh you know and the parents are all like all you know getting all weepy and like oh my kid couldn't play video games until microsoft came out with this new controller that lets them play in on a level playing field with all the other kids and he's not disabled when he has this controller and everybody's like ch choking up look over my kid and you know he's like got a tear running down his cheek and yeah. that was offensive I just punched my kid right in the fucking shoulder I was like don't I mean what the fuck you know I mean if you're playing like Halo against these kids Fortnite they play ass. Fortnite they don't play oh, Halo yeah, sorry my age is showing yeah yeah they play fuck night whatever if you need to like own these kids a kid has toes yeah. on his hand yeah so if you don't win that match then you know then you deserve to have toes on your hand I fucking hate those because they're like Oh, the parents are so fucking brave. No, fuck you. You're not the one with the fucking hose on your fingers. Yeah, Karina. It's the parents. Karina's brave because she has all those seven-toed cats at her house, and she treats them just like every other. How many? Close enough. Three, yeah, four-toed. Are so disabled, they have no fingers. My my <laughs> kids are beautiful, illustrious, magnificent. Fur balls. You're gonna die alone. <coughs> yeah. Me. What? Uh, it's just clear Says bro. you. The commercial that you. really offended me was that they had they had this one commercial where they they um they had all these like razors and they didn't talk about the razors at all and I don't know what the product does. Um. Well, if you don't know what a razor is, you probably shouldn't be near one. That's. Obviously, he doesn't fucking know what a razor is. Well, look like arm. the commercial, just they. It's like the. It's like the ones where the the they have the beer and they don't drink the beer. They just like have a party. Oh. And how how does the they should be advertising That's for a party? A waste of fucking delicious nectar right there. They're just like spilling it everywhere. Like no one likes. It. I don't. They had a commercial for erectile dysfunction. They never showed an erection one time. Right. So how how do, so how, I, how do I know where it works? What do I know? Right. To... See now I'm with you. And it. then they have the fucking pad commercials, and it's There's like no blood. women don't actually have blue ooze coming out of their JJ. Oh, that's they not need to pour a pitcher full of period blood. Yes. Ah yes, feminism. But why? No, you're right though, because this is offensive. They should show what the product does, and if they right. don't show what the product does, they should not be able to put it on television. Right. 
agree. Like in car you. commercials, they drive the car around. They have right. Matthew McConaughey talk about driving. Yes, they should show so the periods show. being driven around. So you I need agree. Matthew McConaughey with an erection. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey going, oh, now this is, they say uh, my erection is not micro or solid. And then he's like, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Like that. Yeah. And then we see his hog. We see his engorged direction. Oh, okay. The, the whole plot to Interstellar? That, I think that was where they were going, but they, they left us all dry. Dry? What kind of... You are dry. You, you know, uh, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, I liked the whole build-up. Like, it was all foreplay, but no... They just never got... They never took my pants off. Like, you know what I mean? Interstellar was pretty good, but they just left my pants on, and I left the theater really unsatisfied. I, <laughs> you saw the movies the proper way. Uh, you should be proud of yourself if you kept your pants on for an entire movie, especially with Matthew McConaughey in it. So, so that was with the bad commercials. What about the good commercials? Were there any commercials you particularly enjoyed at the big game? Um, like I said, I was in and out of it all night. I don't even know. What about you, Benjamin? Did you see a commercial that really, like... No, because uh, it's all consumerism, you know. I mean... Fuck capitalism. To, yeah, that too. I mean, fuck it, fuck it, right in the bee hole. It's like I don't need. What about the the? Wait, is that? No. Is it an no. option? A hole or b hole? No. Yes, a maybe. Or b. I don't. I think that's where she was going. None of the above. None of the above is where I I usually am. Have you ever been on a date, Jonathan? I have. I went on a date. Um, yeah, I have. I've been on with a date. A, with yeah. A, with a second person. I mean, sometimes I go on group dates, and you don't know no, which the, the one you're supposed to be was pairing not with. Not a fucking date, Jonathan. Fuck. We were just sitting across from each other. We weren't on a fucking ah, date. So you two, I'm just gonna run with it. This. Was you guys the company were like a... fucking meeting? You were there too. You were sitting next to me. Are we all three in a relationship? <laughs> no. Jonathan, we have probably been telling him, you know, hey, I have to break up with you after that meeting. You know, he's probably what. It was when Mr. Jeffries took us all to fucking Applebee's. Yeah, and, you, and I I was upset because we got to vote on where we you went were to on eat. You your phone the whole fucking time. Well, because I then. voted to go to Chuck E. Cheese, and everybody else told me they voted to go to Chuck E. Cheese, and we didn't go to Chuck E. Cheese. Because Applebee's had a better price for our budget. No, but I think Ryan when Margaritas. I... Just because it rhymes with Chuck E. Cheese, I, I got a little excited that we were going to Applebee's, but it yeah. wasn't... At all the way I expected. Because there was no guy in a B suit. Like, Actually, now I remember, Benjamin, you left like fucking 20 minutes into the Heck yeah, thing. I got the fuck out of there. There was like, I mean, that was sad. I was like, okay, Jonathan keeps you trying to wipe your mouth off with a napkin. About that. Mr. Jeffries told us about what, where our, our budget, I don't, I wasn't paying attention. Well, I got excited I because like fucking... they may not have video games at Applebee's, but they said they had apps. That's why I was on my phone. I was trying to download the apps. Trying to download the cheese uh, tortillas or whatever the fuck they have there. The Those fucking dollar jalapeno drinks bomber were pops. bomb. Yeah, the jalapeno bomber pop sounded like a great game, and like kind of like a Candy Crush kind of thing, and it's not. Yeah, and then you stuck your finger in it and you burned yourself. Well, I was trying to just line three up. Happened. You were like, you were like hanging out by this one guy's fucking trunk. For like, saw I, I saw you guys you saw out that? there. I don't know what you guys were looking at, but like, is, like, because uh, I know when people pop the fucking front of the car where that part, the room, engine, yeah. I know people look at engines, but you were like looking in the trunk of his car for like a good 30 minutes. Hey, by a scope. scope. Oh, scope. like microscope? Yeah, yeah microscope. That's oh, like, is your kid like really into science now? Yeah, science. You can look at like somebody's That's molecules cool. from inside their body. Hey guys, what are you saying? What is so funny? When I was a kid, I always thought microscope was for people with small teeth. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> microscope. I get it. 